Hey guys, it's the real spiel and it's Del K. Brereton. You know, there's so many things just that are sitting, um, sitting on the the shelves of life that I see a lot of these young men going through, and um, men like myself have gone through it. Other people have gone through it. So, but I wanted to address it. I wanted to talk about it in a kind of comprehensive way and break it down. And I wanted to use two young men who have been um, highlighted lately because of their personal life and um, have been put in a position where I think because of outside influences, it's affected how they function in life. And I, and I wanna I want to use a term, and I know that you know a lot of the church people don't like this particular animal, fictional animal being used because it signifies something um, satanic to them. But I want to use the term activating your inner dragon. Activating your inner dragon. And so just to be clear, the context of the inner dragon, I'm not going to use it from a biblical context where the dragon is referred to as Satan. I'm going to use it in the mystical um, fan fantasy of what the dragon represents in fantasy. So the dragon is a character in fantasy um, that is this, this mythical um, creature with special power. It, it, it breathes fire, um, it's wise, it flies. It's, it's seemingly at the head of the food chain. It, it's, it's something that um, it has, it has, a, it has an outer, outer shell that's hard to kill. It's a very difficult myth, mythical beast to slay. And um, it's, it's feared, it's renowned, and I want to use it in that context. Speaking of Ja Morant and speaking of Andrew Wiggins, as you may or may not know, these two young men have been um, at the forefront of controversy um, some for reasons of their own doing and some not but both of them have been subject to being individuals who have been shamed into a posture of hiding and this is what I want to talk about being shamed into a posture of hiding so Ja he brandishes a gun and, and apparently in a club or a strip joint or some 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 place that he you know he hangs out with he's got a very outgoing lifestyle he's a very outgoing guy he's very rich as is Andrew but Jaws very rich and his outgoingness has got him in a little bit of hot water and um, it's put him in the place where where now he's had to he's had to reel back on some of his natural personality and start saying things like, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to find better ways to deal with my stress. I'm going to find better ways to, um, to, you know, to compensate some of my inner issues that he has to now demonstrate or manifest because it's looked down upon him for, for brandishing a very small handgun, not pointing it at anybody, on an Instagram video. And it's very interesting to me how our young black men that are successful are put in positions where they are told maybe you should seek counseling maybe you should seek you, you should talk to somebody maybe you should take a step back from the things that you love to do because of outside influences looking at them and saying and diagnosing them looking at their dating life looking at their their romantic situations and trying to put a bridle or a leash um, or a saddle on something that should be just running wild. And then when you go to Andrew Wiggins, where the rumors are going out that, of course, his family is in turmoil, that maybe one or two of his children are not his because his best friend has been um, having relations with his, uh, his, his child's mother. Um, and now he has to, of course, because of public opinion and shame and ridicule and what it looks like from the outside and of course what he's going through emotionally steps back and says no I can't I can't play right now I can't do it it's personal reasons I need to I need to stop doing what I love to do because of this and I'm saying to both of these men and to men other men 
other men who are ridiculed, other men who are targeted, activate your inner dragon, baby. One of the things that I appreciated about Kobe Bryant, and it's not a very good, it's not a very good story, but it's what happened. And um, a lot of people might not like the fact that I brought it up in this context, but Kobe Bryant was charged with rape. <laughs> And when he was charged with rape, it was Kobe's best season he ever had. Best basketball he ever played in his life. And it seems to me that that is oxymoronic. But what Kobe did is he activated his inner dragon. And he focused on the one thing that he could dive into fully and let everything else, all the demons, all the voices, all the ridicule, all the innuendo, all the accusations of which he was vindicated of, by the way. But he let all those things fade away by diving into basketball. That's when he had his 84-point uh, game against the Raptors. Kobe became Black Mamba when he was at the, the highest level of scrutiny of his personal life. He became Black Mamba. He activated his inner dragon. And he said, I, didn't care. I don't care. There's nothing you can do to me. There's nothing you can say to me. This here, this one thing, you're not going to be able to take away from me. And, and if you are going to be able to take it away somehow in the future, then I'm going to do, I'm going to play like every single moment is my last moment. That's what I'm talking about. There comes a time in every young man's life. And ladies, I'm not leaving you out of this. Because I, 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 believe, I believe it's for you too. But right now, let me just focus on these gentlemen. There comes a time in every man's life where you have to activate your inner dragon. Where you have to say, I'm not afraid of the smoke. I'm a fire-breathing dragon. And that it doesn't matter what you say to me, what you do. It doesn't matter what you, what, what you, what you try to pin to me. It's not going to stick. I'm a fire-breathing dragon. And you know what? In the course of trying to be all those things in respect to yourself and, and trying to be all things to you for that moment of time where you have to actually, when, and, and ladies, when you talk about um, doing the work, men don't do the work like you. Men focus on, on job specific things and they get, they get, they get hyper detailed about, about their, their own particular achievement and success. They get, they get hyper focused and they do their thing in respect to the area that they're good at. They, they, if you're a surgeon, it doesn't matter what's going on. If you're a lawyer, it doesn't matter what's going on. You, you hyper-focus. If you're an athlete, no matter what it is, you hyper-focus as a man and you, and, you, and, you, and you zone in on that one area that you can control. And that's the only thing that brothers can do. We don't, we don't go see the counselor, most of us. You know, we don't have pity parties. We don't talk about self-harming ourselves. You know what? And at the same time, we have to show a good face, show a good face to the community, to our family, to our to our children, at our job. We have to do those kind of things. We have to make positive confessions to people. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm, I'm having a great time, brother. You know, who, who's going to listen if I complain? We have to say these kind of things because we realize as men, the only thing that we really can do is activate your inner dragon. So I'm here to let you know right now that there is nothing wrong with you being 100% masculine. There's nothing wrong with you saying, you know what? I apologize to, to those who it, this may offend, but I am going to do me. And, and, and no one is going to make me ashamed of me. No one's going to make me ashamed of, of being everything that God created me to be. No one's going to make me ashamed of receiving and accepting people who love me, people who admire me, people who endorse me, and, and individuals that are not on my team. You are allowed, but your, your voices will not be louder than the voices that are cheering for me. In fact, booze motivate me to be great. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that there's something to be said about letting the, the haters and the naysayers say what they want. Let the secret whisperers whisper still. I'm not one of these guys that has to run and find people who've been talking about me and, and talk or, or, or 
or look into individuals who, who want to have bad intentions verbally about me. I don't need to do that. I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about bad press. I'm not. All of it to me is fuel. And I, and I want that to be the word that goes out, hopefully reaching around the world to these young men that are being whispered about in social media, tablets, and, and sports news, and sports shows, and, and online shows. Listen, let every whisper, let every voice be put in the fuel place of, of what causes you to be you. Listen, embrace it. Revel in what people are saying negative about you and rise higher than it. That's all I can tell you to do. I've done it my entire life. And I'll tell you right now, at the end of the day, God is your judge. God is your judge. And scripture tells me that he will never give you more than you can bear. He never gave more to Job than he could bear. A man, he killed all his children, gave him a, a vicious disease, had everybody doubt him. But Job had something within him that was able to handle everything that God did to him. He put David in a wilderness for years. But David had everything within him to encourage himself in the Lord. I'm letting you know right now that God has assigned you as men to carry loads that other people couldn't carry. He's given you the emotional fortitude to look at the storm and smile. Activate your inner dragon is all I'm trying to let you know today. Breathe fire at what comes at you, baby. And let them know you're not afraid of the smoke. This is Del K. Brereton. This is the real spiel. And listen, at the end of the day, no one is here to hurt anybody. But listen, but but it's 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 inevitable. Sometimes people get hurt by your truth. Sometimes people get hurt by you having to go and do what you have to do with your own life. And it's unfortunate, but it's not intentional. But you can't be afraid of the smoke. Activate you in a dragon. Breathe fire on them mother suckers. <laughs> Del K. Brereton. And this is the real spiel.